how has your day been going? It's been good, how are you? Oh, it's, you know, it's, it's going okay. Not too good, not too bad. Nice to meet you, good to meet you. Yo, Teach, what's up? <laughs> So John, how are you culturally connected to Egypt? Well, I've had family that I, that I traced their ancestry back to Egypt and, you know, immediate family. I've had my parents and my brother both for, all born there. Can you tell me about any, like, personal space differences between the U.S. and Egypt? Well, for same sex, you know, kind of like with, like, males communicating with males and females communicating with females, it's generally okay to be, you know, like, a little, like, closer together. But if it's kind of like opposite sex, you want to, you know, keep your distances. Okay, uh, are there any, like, taboos culturally that you'd want to avoid if you were in Egypt? Well, for starters, you don't want people seeing the sole of your foot. And when you're eating, you don't want to, you obviously don't want to do it with your left hand because this is what you would use to go to the bathroom with. Okay, are there any, like, special greetings you would do in Egypt? Well, there is. There are some, you know, when people say, you know, like, salam alaikum, you know, say, like, oh, salam. You know, like, Athena was Sethna, it's kind of like, you know, welcome. Like, oh. Isaiah is kind of like, like, hey man, you know, how are you doing? Like, Isaiah got me in. You know, like, hey, how are you doing? Awesome. Thank you for your time, John. You're welcome. Hi, could you introduce yourself for us? Uh, my name is Saman, and um, I'm from India, and I'm part of the Indian culture. What are some of the greetings in India? So, the most common greeting is when you um, fold your hands together like this, and you say namaste. Um, also, women have to initiate contact, and... Um, when you're greeting an elder person, you bend down and touch their feet. And what are some of the things that are considered a taboo in your culture that we do in the American culture? So one of the biggest things is um, a man and a woman showing public affection. It's, found, it's frowned upon. Um, another thing is divorce is not common in India. And um, you know how um, in the U.S., uh, when kids turn 18, they move out of the house mm -hmm. and they're considered adults. That's not the case in India. Usually they have to be married. Um, before they are considered adults. Well, thank you for joining us. My friend Patricia, I'm going to be asking her a couple of questions about her culture in Mexico. So how would you greet someone in your home country? Um, if I was greeting a friend, I would either hug them quickly or kiss them on the cheek, but if I was greeting a stranger for the first time, I'd go in for a handshake. Very cool. Okay, and then what's something that's different that you see in Mexico versus here, just in your day-to-day -day activities. Yeah, so in Mexico, you're expected to be late, especially to parties. It's very normal to show up an hour and a half and even more time after that to an event. Okay, that's very good to know. Thank you so much for your time today.